teacher says she's tired of trying. Yeah, well, so am I, Ralphie. So am I. Howdy, how you doing? I don't normally do these sort of vlog videos, but I kind of wanted to just express my thoughts lately on what's happening with Phantom Strider in 2021 and tell you a bit about what's happened in 2020 and uh, what's maybe sort of happening with the main channel, Phantom Strider. Again, main channel, not live Strider. I've been finding myself getting a little bit bitter lately, and I just, I'm so burnt out at this point. In the last five years, I've never really stopped from when I first produced top 10 best Futurama, stopped thinking about um, daily views and daily interest comments and uh, self-critiquing my videos and saying, am I still interesting? And having that, I get a, I've just gotten very bitter. I found myself bitter lately. And I think when you start to get bitter, it's a sign you need to stop. For people who've been on my main channel a long time, you'll know I used to comfortably hit 250,000 views with pretty much every video I did back about three years ago, four, I'd say three, I'd say three years ago. And I feel like I've become less and less relevant over the years. And I don't know, because I don't say, oh, there's some great algorithm, you know, mystery or something like that, you know, the YouTube's being bad. No, it's like, YouTube is kind of straightforward. If people click on the video at a certain percentage, click on it, that's recommended to more people, and so on and so forth. And I guess it shows me people just aren't clicking on my videos as much nowadays in terms of uh, Phantom Strider again, and just in terms of non-subscribers. And it's not blaming anyone any or anything like that. It's a failure on my part, because I'm failing to entertain compared to all the other stuff on YouTube. And maybe I'm just not up for this anymore. I don't know. I've been questioning this a lot lately. I've been saying, is my new format boring to people? As much as I try to make my videos gripping and entertaining and fast-paced and smart and cut down my scripts and make the content good. It, it just never feels like it's enough. And like, I, I always look at my videos back and nowadays I say, am I boring in my, uh, my delivery? Am I just not interesting enough anymore? Like, am I just too mellow now to be releasing content and having people stay. And I think when I'm questioning like myself like this and all my mind can say to me now is you're boring, you know, people are slowly losing interest, no one really cares anymore. When my brain is saying that to me, I probably need to stop and just say, okay, time to reassess and just make sure you're enjoying other parts of your life again because I had a bad episode back in 2017, uh, around when uh, I did Worst Religious Cartoons. I'm actually quite proud of that video because I did it in the midst of a really bad episode. So there's Worst Religious Cartoons, apart for obvious reasons from a secular humanist slash atheist. That has, video has a, a close place in my heart. I just feel so burnt out from everything that's happened. I've seen other channels burn out. I've seen friends who just try to stay on the algorithm, stay relevant and interesting. And I see these other channels. It just breaks my heart when I see these other channels where they feel like they're just, you know, almost pooping out content compared to some other friends I have. And not all channels, obviously. There are some really good channels out there that I just can't compete with in terms of a one person, as much as I have an amazing editing team, video editing, and Pi Guy's amazing at audio editing, you know, I just can't compete with channels like that. And I guess, you know, you just have those voices going, is it not enough? After 150 videos of just constantly, it doesn't feel constant because it takes so long for me to produce them, but after 150 videos, like just videos, my views slowly dwindling over the last year or so, do I just not have a place here anymore? Am I just gonna run out of fumes and people just lose interest? I don't know. You know, and yeah, as I said, when I have questions like this, I know it's time to stop. And again, it's nothing against any person or any like that who said, hey, I'm not gonna watch that today. It's like, so what? That's people move on. There's a lot of churn in YouTube, like someone who watched my videos four years ago isn't necessarily watching today, and that's okay. I've moved on from so many channels as well, I'm like, there's a lot of churn in YouTube. But if I'm failing to entertain, like, that is the ultimate sadness to me, because I realize not only, it's not even like I'm just okay to a certain audience or anything like that, I'm like, am I not legitimately entertaining anymore, and I don't know. 
part of why I've been doing a lot of SpongeBob videos, apart from that I love SpongeBob, is that I can sort of guarantee people will be interested in that. And I've just been, I tried video games for a while because I loved doing that and that tended to get a smaller audience. And, you know, I tried doing a few things. I tried Howl the SpongeBob, which was so much easier to write and do and put together and video edit than, than my top 10 list and five worst and best. But, and it feels like a lot of my ideas this year have failed. I've really enjoyed doing video games, but it just doesn't get an interest in from my subscribers like uh, some of my other videos used to. And it's just reached a point where I don't know what people want. Part of why I can't do every tiny sort of request I get, you know, there's stuff I'd legitimately like to do. I'd like to talk about the BoJack Horseman episodes, worst and best. I'd like to talk about Bob's Burgers episodes, worst and best. But that doesn't get the clicks. It, it just doesn't get the clicks. And when you're doing this for a living, you've kind of got to keep getting those clicks to a certain extent. Um, Otherwise, you can't keep uh, can't keep doing it um, and bringing out content, um, when it, particularly when it takes so much time to do. But I just can't seem to get an interest back. I can't do anything but what I absolutely know is going to get clicks. And it feels like even when I'm trying to do exactly what the public wants, they're still not interested. I used to tell myself, just hit 100 videos and you can take a break then. That didn't really happen. It was having a low click rate when I was hitting 100 videos. Then I said, just hit 100 videos and 150 videos, so you can take a break then. That passed and I was still getting low views at the time, so I didn't take a break. But the more I see other channels popping up doing what I'm doing and maybe doing it better, I don't know. It just, it breaks my heart and I wonder, is my karma, mellow delivery uh, not interesting to people or is it not good enough because I want to be a respite I don't want to be yo oh, this is the worst I used to be able to look at my video content and say yeah I've satisfied I've given an entertaining friendly and informative video here but lately I've begun to ask myself when I look at my videos am I boring I, I, I... I don't know, is my old content better? Because a lot of my old content kind of gets the clicks still. And, uh, you know, it, it just makes me say, is my old content better? Can I just not give that good delivery anymore? But I don't want to be loud and screamy. I, I mean, my video, Worst Movies of All Time, had a resurgence recently. And you know, I'm very proud of that video and that sort of thing. But it was a much more yelly, this, that kind of delivery, and I don't want to be that anymore. I haven't for a year, but is my no new delivery, is just me being calm not enough? I don't know. For YouTube, maybe it isn't, but there are channels like that are very calm, and a lot of them do a lot better than me, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just not entertaining enough. Maybe I'm not smart enough to be on this platform. I don't know. Anyway, in terms of what happenings, thank you for listening to this ramble. I'll probably be disappearing for about a month and just trying to recuperate, just get my head into gear, meditate more, calm down, start a bit of yoga, maybe uh, visit family, friends a bit more. Um, we're doing well in terms of COVID, so that's why I say visit family and friends more. Maybe get into some hobbies like music and that sort of thing. I actually want to produce a game. Uh, as a child, I produced a game at about eight years old on Click and Play Games Factory called Blob. Where basically, it's just an, an action platformer about a blob running around who can turn into a spring and that sort of thing. And a stupid, plot, uh, a stupid plot and stuff. And but I'd I'd like to try and make that again through something like a proper game maker we have nowadays and see how it goes. I don't know. It's just something. I'd love to do something else creative apart from just doing top 10 or top 5 worst and best lists on, you know, as much as I love what I do, I, I just need to do something different. Something that doesn't really have to do with that where I can just step away from that anxiety for a bit because it's just exhausted me at this point. At this point, I'm just finishing off Worst and Best Modern Simpsons with the help of my amazing team who've just come back from break and... After that, um, will probably when I take this long break, I will while I can because January is kind of a low interest month anyway. You know, not many people or as many people are tuning in and stuff, and that's fine. You know, whatever's going on, it's great. After that, will probably be worst and best cartoon based video games. I've been looking forward to that one a bit. It'll be good to get back to gaming, even if people don't have that much interest. I'm gonna do. I'm determined to do it anyway, and just just release it and say it's there in the library if people want to see it. I just need to walk away from the platform for a bit and stop thinking about 
views every day, watching the audience kind of dwindle and lose interest, and just absolutely crawling to my 500k subscriber target, which, you know, I'm watching people I've previously known just fly past me in views and say, what are they doing that I'm not? What have I done wrong? And what, am I not interesting enough? And having those anxiety voices in my head, and maybe I'm just not, you know, the kind of material people want to see after five years on YouTube, I don't know. I just need to let go of the platform for a while and stop thinking about at least a couple of days about views and how long till the algorithm forgets me and I'm just another subscription buried among the sea of other unseen channels of people until that happens because you know we've all got too many subscriptions at this point and no one can keep track of them all I understand I do the same thing I, I regularly try and clear up my subscription box and it, it, it just doesn't happen there's so many good channels and I'm fairly self-aware, so I know maybe my anxiety is doing a bit of the talking here. I'm just going to hope that I'll be okay for a little while until I come back. Because I just have to stop for a while. After five years, I just have to close this and walk away for a while. I'm not taking down my channel or anything. If you enjoy my old content and that sort of thing, absolutely still be there. I'm proud of every video I've done. I've worked hard on every single one. I just got to stop with the new content for a while. And thank you so much for your interest, whether you just clicked my channel now and know nothing about Phantom Strider or anything like that, or been watching the channel for two years or something like that, you know, I, I deeply appreciate you and for supporting my content and giving me a look and saying, hey, this guy seems all right. It means the world to me. And, you know, it's helped me through some difficult times in my life, just knowing that there's a community who cares about me and thinks I'm relatively interesting and enjoys my content. It it just means the world to me and thank you so much for that. Is my candle still going? Yeah, it is. It's a nice candle. This is my dolphin. I got him from SeaWorld. Hello. Anyway, in terms of new videos, I'll see you when I see you and thank you very much for your interest and I'll talk to you later.